concerns of real property. Um, uh, environmental, you know. Say economic concerns and comedy? <laughs> comedy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, um, we have the minutes to approve. Um, we can have a motion. Matt? Claudia? Second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any additions, subtractions, convolutions? <laughs> All right. Um, Lexi? Okay. Um, first, they have a, a resolution for you um, to enter into a new contract with Northco Products. Um, we do um, bulk plotting through them for our tax maps. We've used them for the past three or four years. We had somebody else in between. Um, I put it out and got free quotes, and they are the lowest one. We'd really like to just stay with them. Um, we're happy with the maps. Um, all the towns seem happy with their maps. So um, that's what we got first. Make a motion to. Okay, Peter. Second. Jean. Can, can this go for more than one year, Lexi, or is this I a year? I asked Julie, and it can. It has to go every year. Wow. I know, because I asked, can't we just do something? And she said, no, it has to go every year and I don't know why that is but you should yeah it just seems like well, right because I mean we've used we've had to do this for every year since I've been doing it and, and Mike but the last four years we've used the same company yeah They've okay been low so okay we'll check into it. okay <coughs> um anybody else no uh, can we have a vote all in favor aye, aye. aye. any nays Dennis you Wait. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Okay, uh, next down in five is I just wanted to review with you. Um, I know last month we talked about the creation of a form for the last chance meeting. Um, so I've come up with a form, reviewed it with um, Jim and Claudia and the team in favor. Um, so I don't know if any of you had a chance to look at it prior, but just wanted to review it with you guys and make sure everybody was okay with the form. It's just a simple form, but it gives them enough space to be able to put down the reason why they feel they need to come to the last chance meeting. Up at the top, it includes information that we would need, including a phone number, <laughs> um, which is always good to have to be able to try to reach out with them in case we have to in a, a, you know, a further out year as well. Um, so I think this is part of the way that we're going to help reach the landowners and come up with, I mean, Lexi's already doing that, but get this stuff early on and start working out a solution with them great, sooner. Great, great form. <coughs> Lexi. Yeah, Lexi. <laughs> Lexi. And also, I just wanted to let you know that yesterday afternoon and this morning, I've been on the phone with um, the people that we had given the extension until the end of the year. I've started reaching out to them just to try to put feelers out, touch base with them, let them know that, you know, you haven't paid, you are back in the installment, um, or I mean back in the petition, and the petition will be going out April 14th, I believe. It'll be in the mail. Um, so, you know, just trying to make them aware, touching base with them so that they hopefully can kind of prepare and maybe pay by July 14th and not have to see them at the last chance meeting. I have one question. Do you want a yeah. motion on the form or you saw it? Right? No, we don't need a resolution okay. for it. Kevin? Is this reset every year? Now, you say you got somebody in the installment plan. Are you going to send them one of these every year to say you need to be in? No, no, no. I'm not talking installment. Um, but people in the installment plan, if that don't they default. <laughs> they default. Are you they will go in the petition. So that that's how. The and then they get noticed with the petition, and then they could possibly end up back at the last chance meeting. How often, if they don't make a payment, mm -hmm. how often does the treasurer's office say you missed your payment? Do they do it immediately, thirty days, sixty days, or don't what? reach out to them? They're okay. given a payment schedule when they sign up for the installment agreement from the treasurer's office, which lists all the dates over the, they have two years that it's spread out over, and they're given a payment schedule at that time as to when the payments are due. To my knowledge, the treasurer's office does not reach out no, to them if they miss a, a payment. In the agreement when they sign it, it says we will not be reaching out to you. 
you are responsible. But then technically that person could go two years without making a payment of a dime to the county? No. no. Yes. When they default on their agreement, then they get put back in the petition and That's we would That's what my question them. was. If they default one payment, do they go back in or? Yes. Oh, so immediately? Yes. Or, or unless, the they, or unless they get caught up to the... Yeah, I mean, depending on the time frame of when they go into the agreement, I mean, if they, like what happens a lot of times is uh, at the last chance meeting, they'll come in, they'll make that 25% payment, Yeah. and then we never hear from them again. Yeah, I mean... And so then the next, the next spring, they go back into the action, and they have to go... Because I know now that we're getting phone calls at the town hall about, are my taxes paid, and you know, and, and you, usually it's a, a secondary, you know, the real taxpayer, it may be somebody is supposed to be paying for them, they don't, and we just had one the other day, and, and we had to ship them down here to the county to say, you know, so a lot, of, a lot of funny stuff going on with people supposed to be making payments. So This year, however, I did get um, a list with phone numbers and the names on the defaulted from the treasurer's office. Mm -hmm. So when I'm done with the ones that didn't pay by the end of last year, that's You'll where I'm moving on to right. is the defaulted installment agreement people. I have a question. Mm -hmm. If someone is on the installment plan, mm -hmm. they don't make the payment, miss the payment at some point, what do we do at the last, I mean, do, do they have to bring us all the way up or do we renegotiate, do we have a new petition? That depends on the committee, but what's happened in the past, if somebody misses a payment and they need to catch up, they will go to the last chance meeting to ask if they can bring themselves current. However, in those changes that we made this past month, we're going to allow the treasurer to make that decision. If somebody comes right. in, w he's able now to give them till the end of August to get caught up. Well, I guess what I was saying is, what have we done in the past? They've had to go and ask permission before the committee to be caught up. But what have we? There's no way to, to renegotiate the installment agreement. Once right. you get through it, that's it. For three years, you're, I mean, two years you got to pay it off and you can't enter another installment for three years from the time you sign the first one. So we, at some point we've drawn a, a line or said that's, this is it? That's state law. Yeah, that's state law. That's state law, okay. Yeah. <coughs> All right, that's, I guess, what I was asking. Yeah, yeah okay. Any other, or Lexi, do you have anything else? I have nothing else. Anybody else? Motion to adjourn. That's a good idea. All, in, all in that in favor? Meeting <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.